like previous. The reactions we got today from lay residents regarding Prime Minister Peter O'Neill's intention to resign varied. While some stated that it was a shock, others are skeptical about how genuine this announcement is. He himself uh, publicly announced that he is stepping down. So it's a shock. So we feel that what he has done is now telling Papua New Guinea that he is at fault probably at some point. If he's not at fault and if he's not been falsely accused, he should not be stepping down. Yellow Amu is a head teacher at a primary school in Lai. He has been one of the teachers who has been vocal about the government's tuition fee free education policy, not working in the country since 2017. Amu said Peter O'Neill's notice on stepping down as the Prime Minister with the appointment of Sir Julius Chen was unconstitutional. Most of us are not impressed with some of the former Prime Ministers of running the country down. So we would like to see young, energetic you know, leaders who have the vision and heart for Papua New Guinea to step into this position to lead the country forward. Charlie Clyde Tikaro, a secondary school teacher, said the move made by some of the ministers in the government to the opposition camp shows that they are listening to the people who voted them if in. You, if he would like to re uh, resign or step in down, that must follow the formal process. But that, is, that must be done through the uh, office of the governor general. And if word of no confidence needs to be done, then the come May, May 28, the normal process of the uh, filing up of the uh, VOC uh, motion needs to take place. Julie Badui, OA, National MTV News, Lake.